Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for July 25th of 2024 is titled NGC 7023, the Iris Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, here we see what is known as the Iris Nebula. Now, may have a vague resemblance to a flower in the center there, the blue colors stretching out from bright star at the center. Now, this is a rather large flower by comparison to what we're used to here on Earth. In fact, it would be about six light years across, a light year being about 10 trillion kilometers, so 60 trillion kilometers, really an unimaginable distance, but not all that large relative to things we think about astronomically speaking. Now, this is an example of a reflection nebula. A reflection nebula occurs when a star is surrounded by a thin dust, just little bits of dust, and it scatters its light off of those dust grains. Now the dust grains are really good at scattering the short wavelengths of light, the blue colors. They're not good at scattering the red colors. And that accounts for why the nebula looks blue. The light blue light comes and gets scattered around, whereas the red light just passes straight through it in all directions. Now we see the central blue region, which is the reflection nebula, but we can continue to see the dust at greater distances. At that point, it no longer behaves as a reflection nebula, but is a dark nebula, dark dusty regions. And you'll see that there are varying intensities there. Some of the portions, say up to the upper right hand side, look relatively thin. There's not a lot of dust there. And in fact, you can see stars glowing through the dust. Some of the other areas specifically to the left and then down and to the right a little bit. There are some very dark dense areas where you don't see many stars. You don't see the starlight getting through. That's because there's enough dust in those regions to block out the light from behind. So we can't see it. What is behind that region? We don't know. There's no way to see through it, at least not with visible light. However, we can observe these regions in the infrared. Infrared light, even longer wavelengths, is even better at penetrating the dust than red light. So images of this type of region taken in the infrared will allow us a peek into those dark regions. And we can see the beginnings of star formation there, that stars are just beginning to form. And that would be uh, what we call a proto star. It's not quite a star yet. It hasn't fully ignited the hydrogen into helium in its core. But that's what's happening within those. And eventually, as it does begin nuclear fusion reactions in its core, it will then push out and become visible through the dust. It'll start to push away the excess dust around it and may in the future become another reflection nebula nearby like the Iris Nebula that we see today. Of course, that's not something that we'll see in the near future. It can take hundreds of thousands of years for that star to form and then finally start to push material away to the point where it could be visible. So that was our picture of the day for July 25th of 2024. It was titled NGC 7023, the Iris Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.